Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Maggie's vlog. Oh yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a realistic roleplay video called um by rescuing a horse from an auction. And uh yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if I sound sick, it's because I am. I actually have COVID. If you see my buying one fell video, my voice was um like this too because it's just um <clears throat> it's just I have COVID and all that. So um yeah, but if it gets too bad, I do have a drink beside me. So um yeah, let's get right into this video. So first, me and my dad were just, well, not my dad. My dad was checking out some clothes, but it had just been my birthday, so I was walking around um, looking at the little boutiques, and my dad got a notification on his phone. It said that there was an auction right beside us. He recommended we go. I personally didn't want to go because... It just, it broke my heart to see all those horses there. But my dad wanted to go because he was looking for a new barrel racing horse. So I reluctantly agreed to go. So yeah, as we were walking through, um, I saw a lot of pastures and it was just, really pretty like I saw the windmill and yeah so first we looked around for a while like we saw quite a bit of horses but unfortunately every horse we saw already had an owner already had been bought so yeah um then as me and my dad were walking, um, were walking through the auction, I saw this beautiful black Arabian, and it said he was for sale. So I showed my dad him, and I went to the fence to pet him, and I kind of just opened the gate to pet him. And I know it could have been dangerous. Like, if he hadn't have been trained, he could have easily bucked, like, ch bolted at me. But thankfully, he had already been um, broken, so that wasn't an issue. I showed my dad the beautiful Black Arabian, and he agreed to go talk to the owner. So we kind. So we walk to the other side and after a while found the owner his name was John my dad talked to him for a while and we found out that John actually that he really didn't know a lot about the Black Arabian he said that he had just bought the horse uh, a few months ago, maybe about two months ago, um, to make as a show jumper, but no, but he couldn't, but the horse was just not cooperating, and he didn't have time for him, so he was putting it for sale. So my dad actually agreed to buy him, but the um but John agreed to let me walk in there and slip a bridle on him and just kind of ride him around the fence. So that's what I did. <coughs> Thankfully he had already been ridden. He wasn't like super super wild, so he let me canter him around the arena. And he was very, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I need to get some um, 
of my journey. Oh, just a sec. Okay. So we just rode around for about 10 minutes and he actually felt really sturdy. He, um, and I went and my dad watched me and I went to tell him that I wanted to buy him. And I forgot to tell you what John said about him. John said he didn't really know a lot about the horse. He just, um, his name, his old name that John named him was Prince, but I decided I would name him Bello. So, and he was a, and he was a seven month year old stallion. He was really young and I felt so bad for him that he had to go through all this at such a young age, being caught and um, so, and this wasn't his first auction. He had been through, a, um, John said he, his previous owner said that he had been through at least three auctions. So this would be his fifth. And I just felt so bad for the poor guy. And after watching him for a while, this might sound like a movie, but I knew that I was ready to take Bello home. So my dad talked to Steve, they bought him, and I got him. So I let him out and decided to take him to the trailer and then I would take him to the pasture. And I don't have a lot to say, so I think I'm just gonna let the music take over. So, um, yeah. After I we got home, I was taking him to put him in the pasture. Um, because we really aren't that far away from the auction, um, so we didn't have to drive far. Um, our house is actually right over there. So um, yeah, my dad said that we could put him in the pasture and then maybe in a few days we would put him in his stall with other horses and again i just felt so bad for him that he had to go through all this at such a young age he just didn't deserve this and even though this is a realistic role play it's sad because things in this in things like this actually happen in real life, but I'm glad there are people. Um, but I'm glad that these horses get saved. Like I saved him. That reminds me. Quick disclaimer: everything in this video is ma is made up for entertainment, so please don't follow any of these methods. So. After um, I put him in the pasture, I went and got dinner. And the next morning I came to see how he was doing. And he was actually um, adjusting really well. He was eating hay, drinking water, and he just didn't seem sad or distressed at all, like some of the horses I've seen. He was actually really pretty, like 
I mean, I know he was pretty, but what I meant to say is he was actually really taking this well. So I was very proud of him. And a few days later, I took him into the stable to meet other horses and he handled that really well. One of the horses, one of our Clydesdales, Chase, um, Chase tried to bite him. So that showed us that he couldn't be trusted around Chase or Chase couldn't be trusted around him. So yeah, thankfully he wasn't hurt or anything. Chase just kind of nipped at him because I don't have a lot of stallions. And he just, um, and he just wasn't really used to having stallions around. So, yeah, I set up a security camera by the tree and I'm just gonna let it take a, and I'm just gonna let the, um, and I'm just gonna let the music take over while, while you can watch him. Panera's toasted baguettes for $8.99. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so I came in and just kind of led him around a little, and yeah. After I led him around a little, I decided to kind of ride him around the pasture just to try to get comfortable with him and get to know each other. So I talked to him for a little, but it didn't but it didn't really matter. So I'll just let you listen to music throughout the ride. After a few minutes, I immediately realized that he was different from my other horses. He had something that the horses I had since they were born didn't. He had a connection of some sort. And I just, I was really glad that I went to that auction and I bought Bello because he didn't de doesn't deserve anything that has happened to him. And he is just a beautiful young stallion that has had a hard life. 
and I just, I'm glad I got to save him. But, um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this realistic role play. If we can get this video to 50 views, then I will do a part two of training Bello. Let me know what you want to see me do with him. I can see this turning into a series called maybe like the auction horse and I could just show his whole training journey and all that. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.